Hello everybody! We learned in the first part of this video how to create a multipad in the A3000. If we wanted to create a multipad including rhythm or musical phrases that need to be recorded step by step, we need to use an external software. In this video, we'll learn in detail how to create a multipad using the software Cubase. But of course, you can use any other software. What's important is at the end you get a MIDI file made of one channel where the rhythmic or musical phrases is programmed. The first step is to connect the A3000 to the computer using USB port. Then start Cubase and make sure that the connection between the keyboard and Cubase is safe. Let's start creating a multipad. Of course, there are many ways to do this, but I'll choose an easy one. We open a new project. We add a MIDI track. We make sure that the MIDI output is set to the A3000 and the input is set to all. On the keyboard, we choose the instrument we want to use to record the multipad. I'll record a rhythmic instrument. I choose Shemi Kit 1 that we find in Shemi Pack. You can download it for free from the Yamaha Music official site. We start by recording a 4-bar rhythmic phrase. We record it first time. Then we add another percussion if we want, but always on the same track. We can only use one sound in pad memory. We can edit mistakes or use any function in the software to fix what we recorded. When we are done recording, we save the project as a MIDI file using export MIDI file. We get a MIDI file with a MIDI extension. We have to change the extension to pad. After changing the extension, we copy it on the USB and load it on the keyboard. We go to Multipad page. We'll see the multipad we recorded. We select it and listen. We notice that what we recorded is correct, but with a wrong instrument, piano. And that makes sense, because the MIDI file has no information about the instrument used in Cubase. That's why the keyboard can't choose the correct instrument. What's missing to this pad are these information, MSB, LSB, and program change, which are three important informations like an ID for the instrument. We go to Multipad Creator after choosing the multipad we recorded, we first turn pad 1 repeat on, so pad loops plays while we're playing. We go to the edit screen and we add MSB and LSB and program change. We can automatically add them by pressing on the correct instruments one time on the edit page. We can see that Multipad Creator added three lines specific to MSB, LSB and program change. Or, if we want it, we can add them manually. To see the value of these settings related to Shemikit 1, we found them on the screen in front of the name. MSB 62, LSB 15, and Program Change 32. If these values are not showing on your screen, you can get to them by going to the page Function, Utility, Configuration 2, then change voice number to show. In edit page, we add three lines at the first bar by pressing the button 6 down, insert, three times. We change the value of every line. We move up and down with the buttons A and B, left and right with the button D and E. We change using the dial. 
The first line, MSP, control 0, we change the value to 62. The second line, LSB, control 32, we change the value to 15. And the third line, program change, we change the value to 32. We go to the line end, and we change the value to the end of the bar. We try now. If we wanted to record a musical phrase or chords, we go through the same steps. The phrase has to be on the same scale, for this example, C major. Then we turn on the chord match pad. Thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial video.